America's late night leader. Going out on top. Thank you, folks. A winner. That's today's legacy. The journey. From comedy club kid to the throne of King Johnny. Young man's name is Jay Leno. The rivalries. I love Letterman. He's great. Nip at my heels. Make me work harder. The triumphs. What the hell were you thinking? And the Jay you didn't know. Probably more sensitive than people would think. Tonight, the blue collar guy. And it's a guy in the jean shirt and the jeans. That's him. Who became an entertainment giant. Jay Leno, Mr. Comedy. The man of a thousand monologues is down to his final cue cards. Katy Perry said when she was a young girl, she prayed to God to have huge boobs. <laughs> so, atheist, your move. Jay Leno departs The Tonight Show number one, where he's been for years, admired. Let me say I think your jokes are just as funny by comedy cohorts. He's been, you know, just done a tremendous job all of these years. And longtime friends who know another side of him. What's the private J like? Probably more sensitive than people would think. If there's somebody in the family that's suffering some bad health, he'll make sure he calls anything I can do. Can I refer you to somebody? Just let me know. One of the first places I went to when I came to California. I went to... A guy many say hasn't changed a bit on his rise up the comedy ranks. Come on, you guys, get in the picture. Here we go. And if he ends up on top, it's a journey that begins pretty much... But if you look, the humor is there. ...at the bottom. Who's going to hang out with this guy? <laughs> right. The first time I met Jay was in New York City, and it was 44th Street and 9th Avenue, where the original improv uh, was. Comedy impresario Bud Friedman knows Leno from the early 70s. Jay, then a student in Boston with dreams of breaking into comedy, drives down to New York City over and over. So a young man comes up to me at the club, and he says, excuse me, Mr. Friedman, but uh, I've been uh, waiting three nights in a row. I come down here from Boston, where I go to school, to go on. And I never get on. What do I have to do to get on? I said, wait a minute, you drive down from Boston to New York and then drive back again that night when you don't get on? Right. I said, you're on next. Jay's an instant success. He did great. He became a regular like that. He was special. You ever notice how all newsmen use the same metaphors? <laughs> there are comics that have worked hard and honed their craft, and they're great. Another senseless killing early today. <laughs> and there are comics that are just born hilarious. And Jay was born hilarious. <laughs> 1973. Jay graduates from Emerson College and moves to Los Angeles. He performs anywhere and everywhere he can. Ultimately, he finds a home, once again at Bud Friedman's Improv, on stage in shows like this one, Freddie Prince and Friends. It's always nice to stand here and try and watch people drink $5 worth of wine. <laughs> We've had nine glasses, Bud. How much is that? Dollar seven. <laughs> Oh, sure, you know. Jay roasted me a few times, and they were pretty funny. Such a tacky club, the Improv. Thank you very much. You very nice. With the Improv on his resume, he gets booked into another prestigious venue, L.A.'s Comedy Store. Any given night, it was Jay and Robin and Pryor and Elaine Boozler and Billy Crystal and, you know, all on the same show. It was unbelievable. It's 1977. Jay's career is booming. Then he gets the call. The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson wants him. This young man's name is Jay Leno. 
And uh, this is his first appearance on The Tonight Show. Later. That performance in front of Johnny is life-changing. I'm originally from the United States. Any United States people here tonight? Big screen roles soon follow, like 1978's American Hot Wax. All of a sudden, I'm a Sean, huh? Comedy career on track. Off stage, Leno finds love with a brunette named Mavis Nicholson. She's an amazingly bright and wonderful person. Yeah, it works out. I would right. say we have a great partnership. Yeah, it works out good. They marry in 1980, remaining together ever since. With Mavis by his side, Jay devotes his spare time to his other passion. Cars. When you work with your hands, you realize how easy it is to make a living on television. Jay's the guy that was, when he was in high school, he was tearing apart cars, seriously tearing apart cars. It's fun to restore cars and fix them up. He's a world-class mechanic. I studied this for years, and it's like I don't know how to turn a wrench. Our next guest is uh, Jay Leno. By the mid-80s, Jay's hitting his stride. He's making some movies, doing some TV. Doing some he was on top. He was the, probably the top stand-up touring in the 80s. He was huge. He lands his first cable comedy special, Jay Leno and the American Dream, and is a regular guest on The Tonight Show and Late Night with David Letterman. Please welcome Jay Leno. It's 1985, and Leno and Letterman have no idea how often their paths will cross. I bid you a very heartfelt good night. Next, the king of comedy steps down, and the heir apparent is on his way up.